We're down at the Manx Legion Club getting ready for a PAG debate and it's about the future election of a Chief Minister in the Isle of Man. We've got uh, going for the public way and we're going for the same way. Gentlemen, I know we're ahead of the debate, so I, don't, I know you've got things to say you probably don't want to say on this interview. But overall, are people actually that interested about how the Chief Minister is elected? I think they should be interested, and that's why I think it's healthy to have this sort of debate. Whether we, uh, I think we're likely to agree to disagree tonight, but the debate is an important part in itself. And you are for keeping it exactly as it is. I mean, you've been in the inside of Coleman, so you know how it's working and you're happy with it. I wouldn't say I was for keeping it exactly the way it is, but I think that it's still important that Tinwald has the uh, choice of the Chief Minister rather than it being directly elected by the public, and I'll go into some of that later. Sure. But you want to see the public actually nominate them. Now, would that be anybody on the the roles from anywhere that's standing for government? Well, I, I don't think you should underestimate the power of electoral reform to bring some vibrancy and some positive change to any uh, democratic system. And uh, secondly, I mean, I will be arguing this evening that, in fact, um, the status quo already gives us a very powerful chief minister and that uh, simply by putting it out to public vote will enhance the uh, public participation in democracy and allow them to have a, have, a, have a positive choice in terms of who leads them. But you're asking the public to vote on literally everyone that's standing. They'd have a list a mile long, wouldn't they? Well, you'll have to, you'd have to put in uh, detail around how that was controlled and managed. And certainly my views initially would be that that would have that an individual would have had to have served a five-year term in uh, Tinwald and would have had to have had some nomination papers signed both by Tinwald and, and possibly by some members of the public in order to go forward as Chief Minister. So the public will get a shortlist to vote on? Well, absolutely. I don't think you could, you could possibly have a 24-line whip of uh, individuals. So, so there would have to be some criteria to sort that out, first of all. The devil is always in the detail. You've got to make a process that works, and I, I don't think this is a process that's workable. It's entirely foreseeable, unlikely, but foreseeable, that every member of the House of Keys could go out of office. Um, in 1976, you had over half the members of the House of Keys go out of office. So it, it's entirely possible that you may not have anybody that meets the statutory criteria. What do you do then? You, you have to change the law, and you go without a chief minister while you do it. See, as, as it stands now, Comyn can actually get rid of the chief minister. You can have a vote of no confidence now and, and, and replace him. Tinwald can get rid oh, okay. of the chief so minister. So it's got to go to Tinwald. But you could get rid of the chief minister. Under your system, wouldn't you have really a presidential sort of position? Well, it, it, you could describe it as a presidential um, system. I mean, certainly you would have to have safeguards put into any democratic system when you, when you publicly elect somebody like that. Yeah, there could be a dictator, technically, I suppose, couldn't they? Well, I don't think it would be any different to the system that we've got now. So, you know, my argument is that actually the public voting in the chief minister would enhance the democratic uh, process rather than uh, dilute it. Yeah. Could it be a heated debate tonight or not? It's always going to be a good debate when uh, Mr. Cannon and myself are involved, so it uh, should be a good evening. And it'd be remiss of me not to even suggest possibly that e either of you might be up for the, the being contenders as a future Chief Minister of the Isle of Man? Well, I, I'm here to debate something, Paul, that I was asked to do six months ago. So the thought of somebody else being Chief Minister is probably last on my list at the moment because I think there's far more important issues uh, in terms of what Tinwald has to deal with in the next couple of years. But uh, certainly, I mean, you know, in the future, who knows? And you've got aspirations, yes? No, never say never, but it would be a strange set of circumstances that would lead me there.